on guys today we're gonna to be talking about watch band compasses um, <clears throat> you know these are a lot of guys use them I use them in the military um, and even after after military occasionally I, I still use them uh, not religiously or anything but for a while I did but I used to use them constantly in, in the military this one to be exact I, I've had this one for I'd probably say hmm dang almost uh, 17 years probably that one right there. So another reason why we're doing this video is to talk about this new compass. This is by Kamenga, and this is the WC10. And we'll kind of talk about the specs here of this, but uh, it's a new compass. Kamenga is the, the provider of compasses for the US military. And uh, you know I use those in the military as well, the, uh, uh, the Linstatic uh, compass, that's the one we use. So um, they recently came out with this one. A lot of people haven't even seen it yet on the market, but I wanted to go ahead and do a video showing that and kind of talk about it. And uh, talk about a few different other models that, that are on the market. <clears throat> now, one of which in my survival kit here, move these out of the way for a second. And in my survival kit, I've got this Suunto right here that I carry. And uh, you know, this thing is phenomenal. Sometimes I'll attach this to my watch band and uh, I've got it on a NATO strap right now, but sometimes I'll put it on my um, watch band, I actually wear it on my watch band. It has great, great illumination. You can see there, phenomenal, phenomenal illumination. Um, and for seriously navigating, this is uh, what you want. Hence why I have it in my survival kit. I also have a small button compass inside uh, inside this tin here. So, um, Black Scout tin. So that way I have uh, multiple compasses. I like to at least have two with me at all times so I can check the bearings of the other. But uh, if you want to see this in the survival kit, I'll put a video link or maybe I'll do an update video or something. All right, let's talk about the WC10 for a second. This is a new compass, like I said, and it is developed by Kaminga here in the U.S. It's the only, I think, only U.S. made uh, button compass there is. So only U.S. made. Although we may have components that are U.S. made, but this is the fully only um, U.S. made. Now it's a little bit larger compass. It has these winged um, band straps here. You can also, it comes on a um, strap, so you can put on a Velcro strap and just wear it on your wrist, or you can attach it to a a watch band, put it on our Black Scout Resco. If you hadn't got one of these Rescos from our Black Scout Edition, you need to go pick one up. That thing is amazing, amazing timepiece, never needs a battery, um, self winding. But so you can, you know, put this here. I'd probably actually put it over the, uh, not put it over the, uh, sorry, let me get this focused, put it over that last NATO buckle if I was going to wear it like this. But the good thing about this is that it can move, so you can, you know, get it to move with you and stuff. It's uh, waterproof up to 100 meters, um, very rugged built, and it's a dry compass, so it will not freeze. Uh, they were tasked by U.S. Uh, Special Operations Command to build these compasses to, uh, you know, work in Arctic airborne and diving operations. So it, for the best button compass there is right now is probably this one um, you know as far as like the ruggedness of it now the problem with this it has no illumination here I'll bring it in close no illumination maybe they're gonna put tritium in it I kinda think they probably will Let's see back here so yeah, I think they probably will put tritium in it, but not yet. So anyhow, that's the WC10, about a $50 price point. Got these, you can get these on eBay for like $2. Never buy these. Um, they're terrible. They'll develop bubbles and all that kind of stuff, but I wanted to put it here. This, as a matter of fact, is already just broken on the strap part, so it's, it's a piece of junk. Now let's talk about the Prometheus design work. This is also a popular compass uh, with folks. Now, the only thing is about this is that it's really like a $2 compass 
in here with a good housing. It has great housing, but it's a $2 compass. Now, I think this is Japanese-made compass, not Chinese. Uh, now, you will see it's a little bit bigger than the, the Kaminga. It's actually a little bit larger than the Kaminga. Um, it has moderate glow. Not really great, but moderate. This band is supposed to glow in here, but it's not that good. Um, I mean, it looks okay, but what I don't like about it is that huge. I mean, it's, it's like, you know, sticks way out. I just, I don't like that. And uh, again, it's like a $2 compass. So you're paying $40 for the housing, it's a $2 compass with moderate um, glow. Now it does come with this little thing here that you can put in and put on your person. But again, for the price, there's better out there. For the price, I'd, I'd go ahead and just pay a few more dollars and get this. Um, you know, $2 compass and a nice housing. Uh, doesn't make sense to me, but let's talk about the Suunto. This is probably the best uh, button compass for the price. Um, Suntos are great compasses is what I risk my life, I trust my life to all the time. Um, it's got a bezel with degree marking so you can actually shoot azimuths with this. It has a good glow. Now look look at this one. This one I've had for you know 17 years barely glows. Here's a brand new one. Um, it glows like crazy. So it has a lot of glow. But the good thing is that you don't have to take your watch band off to put these on. You can just kind of like uh, slip it on. You don't have to put it on. You can have to take your watch off. You can just put it on and uh, sits very well. So to me, really for the price, I think it's like 15 bucks, 20 bucks um, compared to some of these others. Um, you know, for the price, this is the best. You want USA made the most rugged comps in the world, get this one right here. In my opinion, that's, that's what's kicking right now. So. Anyhow, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, check out a few uh, wrist compasses and also the big Suunto. Now, like I said, I do wear that on my watch sometimes. I'll put it on the band. It's just huge. Uh, you've probably seen it in videos before. If I'm really navigating somewhere, I'll put that big um, Suunto on there. So, anyhow, guys, I'll put links to these below if you're interested in them. Anyhow, guys, thanks for watching and take care.